Hey guys, I'm Chef Matt Bolas from the 404 Kitchen in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm here today to talk to you about a couple of things that I'm super excited about. One, I'm here to talk about cooking crispy skin fish, something that's not easy to do, not easy to, to master. Crispy skin fish is a thing of, of amazing beauty when it's done right, and it's something that you can just take so much pleasure in. It's delicious, the texture's there, everything. And two, these amazing pans that I've started cooking with from Heston Cookware. Uh, and today, hopefully, we're gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. A Little bit of oil, not much. You really don't need a lot with these pans. Now, while that heats, we're gonna go back to the drying of the fish. Simply take a paper towel on your skin and blot it dry. Then you wanna season it. And don't be scared on the seasoning. Okay, so if you can see, the oil starts to look like it's getting wavy. That means your oil's ready. What you wanna do is gently move the pan some of the circular motion as you're getting ready to put your fillet in. You always want to put your fillet in skin side down and away from you. That way if the oil splashes up, it doesn't burn you. Push down just a little bit, to get flat, even contact, and then let it sear. So the other thing is how do we know when to flip a fish or a steak or a piece of chicken? This fish is going to tell us when it wants to come up. It's going to start to move very gently on its own. We're not going to have to force it. So we're gonna give it a test. Like I said, the fish will release itself. You don't have to force it. If you have to work to get this fish up, it's not ready to flip. Just gently slide your spatula underneath, and there it goes. Gently flip the fish over, and immediately turn your heat down. What we're gonna do now is add a little bit of flavor to the end result. A couple of knobs of butter, some fresh thyme, and then a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice is gonna do two things. It adds acid to your food, which helps balance it. It also prevents your butter from overbrowning. This is where the basting comes in. Once this butter starts to bubble, it's nice and frothy, you're just gonna ladle this, this beautiful flavor over the top of your fish. From here, we're gonna gently cook it until about a medium doneness, and then it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so the fish is almost done. I wanna baste it a couple of more times for good luck and for good flavor. Thin spatula, metal spatula. Gently scoop it underneath your fish onto the plate. All right, so as you can see, here we are, ready to eat. Nice and crispy, nice and medium. Not overcooked, not undercooked. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> that really is delicious. That makes me smile every time. And there you have it. Simple technique, right tools for the right job. You have a delicious dinner, you have a pan with nothing stuck to it, which means an easy cleanup and you're gonna impress everybody.